Hi, today I'm going to do an EGR valve in the Ford 6.4 diesel. And for those of us who have done them, you know how sometimes they can seize and bind and break and cause problems. They still have that issue, but to give us the most fighting chance, the people at Freedom Racing have developed a new uh, EGR valve puller. This is the part right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it on there and show it in use. Once you have the three bolts that hold down the electronics, you slide it up, it slides off of here. And this is also where we're going to fasten the upper plate. But first thing, we're going to undo the three mounting bolts that hold the EGR valve to, down to the throttle body here. So let's go ahead and remove those three torques and then start to mount the, the plate here on it. Take a Torx 30 and get them all off here. Once we remove the three bolts that hold the EGR valve down to the throttle body, we're going to install these three pieces here. It, this is also what the plate pull, pushes against, so it's very important that these are all seated and they're all the same length. Of course, they come from Freedom Racing the same length, so it's up to us to make sure that we install them and they're seated all the way down and even because we want the, the straightest and even the best pull on the valve itself. So let's go ahead and thread these in the, the, on the, where we took the three bolts out and make sure that they're all drawn down and you should all go in pretty clean and easy. If, you, if they need to, then go ahead and chase the threads or do whatever. But as long as you don't damage your tool and they're seated each time you use it, you won't damage them and have an issue. So again, make sure they're all drawn down nice. Now the tool here, it does only fit on one way. It, it's not a true triangle there to where it fits on. So you do have to find the right orientation and put it on. But once you have it lined up, well two things. One, it's going to fit over, your, over these studs here, but also the bolts will line up with the, the valve to where we're going to fasten it down with it. So we'll put that on. Now we're going to take the three bolts that's supplied in the kit and tighten this up. I do suggest snugging these up first because the longer one that doesn't have anything to rest against, you don't want to sit there and cock this and pull it, draw it down on the backside. So I'm going to put these two in and draw them down and then snug this one up and then snug these all up here. Draw these all down. Once you have these two drawn down, these are also three millimeter, at least that's what they were in the kit that I have. And we'll draw the back one down, or the longest one down. Okay, now they're all seated. I'm going to go ahead and double check on these again, make sure these are down. And I keep stressing this because if you don't get a nice even pull, you, you're not, it's, you take more of a chance of breaking it. So you want to make sure that these are all nicely, all the way drawn down and flush. The quarter standard is the one that comes closest to fitting over it. So I went ahead and made sure these are all down and that we're doing pretty good. And we'll install the top plate and try to pull this one. Now on the top plate, it too has a special orientation that the only, it's only going to fit on one way. You want to make sure that when you put, when you draw, put it on, that these studs here fit in these receptacles and it, all, and it goes down evenly. So when you put it on, you know, fine. Well, I got lucky there, it went on the right way. Let's see if you have it, you know, make sure that it goes on, that you find the right way that it goes on. So on this one here, we put it on and it's on all three. So now that we have that, because see now the idea is when we draw this bolt down, this bolt is going to tighten up against this plate here. And as it tightens against this plate, it's going to pull up on the stud here on this uh, on this um, shaft here so this shaft that's that we just bolted to the EGR valve is going to come out pushes down against these which are fastened to the throttle body and it pushes down against those pulls the EGR valve out it's actually pretty ingenious here and it's pretty effective so now that we have this all set up let's go ahead and put the nut and the bearing on it and try to pull, pull this valve out
some of these can get to be a real bear. It takes a lot more torque on it than this. This one's coming out pretty good, which I'm glad to see. Of course, getting a proper tool and installing it right helps too. There we go. We have the tool out, we have the valve. I can't do it here holding the my phone and camera in one hand. As you can see, the valve came out and we have a, another success here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the set of phone down for a second and get it rest of the way out. Okay, I took the nut loose here. And there you go, we got it out without it breaking. And if you've done these before, you know sometimes that's the whole battle right there. So anyhow, hopefully this helps you out. If you have a valve to do, if you work on these, you want to see freedomracing.com and get yourself the Polar along with all the other tools they have. If these help you, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Unplug it here and we'll undo the three Torx 20 bolts. You've got the two up here and one down here. Take a Torx 20 and remove them. And take a Torx 30 and remove the three mounting bolts. To mount the base of the tool on, of the puller on, you have three mounting screws. The two short ones and this one long one. They go in place of the ones that you just took off to take the electronics off. The two short screws up top and the long one towards the back. Just get it started loosely for right now. Okay, we have the base just loosely. The bolts are just started on for right now just to start to hold it down for a guide. And we have these three studs and that's what the next piece, which makes sense here in a second, is going to press against. So you have these three guides, studs, whatever you want to call them, to go down here to, and thread them through and start them to where the original mounting bolts were that held the EGR valve down. So I'm going to get all three of these started and installed. Now I'll snug up these three millimeter, that's what size Allen I have here. Is a three millimeter. I'll snug these down against the EGR valve. Do these first, so we don't put too much stress on the long on the long bolt. Now we'll install the cap that it's going to pull against because you have the base bolted up to the EGR valve. This is bolted up to the intake or is pushed against the intake. Now we're going to install a cap that'll tighten down, press against these studs and cause the valve to come out. So let's install the cap. Has, it's, it's not just a regular um, equal each side. So we're going to have to find the right configuration and put it on there. So set it down there. It fit that way, but as you see, if we tried it, it could be wrong here. So just rotate it till we have it the right way. And you see what it's doing here. And we'll take the bearing and the nut and put it on here. Spray a little penetrant just because it's always a good idea. Lubrication, penetrant, whichever one, one you want to call it. And I'm using a half inch drive just because it's an inch and an eighth nut on there. Not hopefully for pressure. And just slowly draw it down. 
getting some resistance right there. Now it's getting pretty tight, so what I want to do, I'm getting some more lube down here. It's always scary. have a valve out it cracked on us but we do have it out and I don't know where every piece is for sure I strongly suggest pulling the throttle body off and getting it before you crank this motor over or checking anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the charge air cooler hose the EGR cooler in this this stud here take the bolts out of the throttle body and remove it before I disturb this motor that way I know I have every piece out and I'm not going to be pulling the engine out and doing a piston for free all while I'm just trying to replace an EGR valve. Having to remove this stud on the back of the EGR cooler. I already removed the nut, now I'm removing the stud. Remove this one. Should be able to check, make sure nothing went. It, it wouldn't flow any further than this. So we still have the pieces that are inside of here. I'll flush this out, get it cleaned out, and that way I don't have any regrets and no engine problems. The R valve that broke inside of here. Tried soaking it, cleaning it, and doing what I can. Just ended up scratching up and gouging up the the housing here. So I went ahead and just picked up a new one. They're under a couple hundred bucks from Ford. That way I know it's going to fit right. But sometimes you will run into issues. I don't know if putting penetrant would have got down there enough to actually help to try to get by here and get down inside of there. But it does, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you have the tool or if you try to do it any other way, you're going to end up, if a valve is seized in there, it's going to break. As far as the tool pulling on it straight, as long as you have all your studs down here and they're all down even flush, it's going to pull out straight. Some, some will end up breaking, that's just the way they are. I've used that tool over and over, and most of them come out pretty clean. So I, I, just, I do want to show the good with the bad. That's why I went ahead and posted this video. So hopefully that helps you out, shows you a tool, and if you have any questions, just post comments. If not, please like and subscribe. Thank you.